In Central America lies a small country, Costa Rica, area 51,000 square kilometres, population 5 million. It's a pleasure for me to speak about my country, Costa Rica. Everyone speaks of his country, her country, as the best country in the world or the most promising one. Costa Rica has a 6% of biodiversity of the whole world. The fact that Costa Rica is rich, as its name suggests, a rich coast, not in minerals, not on material things, so to speak, but on nature. The richness of Costa Rica is its biodiversity, it's its position as a bridge between South America and North America. That's why Costa Ricans have made the expression pura vida, pure life, like a national motto, and a way of uh, responding to each other. How are you doing? Pura vida. I'm just doing just fine, because life is so precious in Costa Rica in every respect. The first leader of Costa Rica was a school teacher not a general, not a businessman, not an economist. It grew as an isolated, small uh, group of, uh, of families high in the mountains in the central part of Costa Rica, and the central part. And it's there in the small mountainous communities that democracy grows almost as a natural way of organization. The commitment of the whole of the population in Costa Rica in favor of uh, policies to protect nature. Costa Rica, as I said at the beginning, uh, has a rich biodiversity, which is a privilege, is a gift, but at the same time is a big responsibility to take good care of it. Uh, in 1948, the 1st of December, the army was uh, dissolved as a permanent institution. And today, Costa Rica has contributed and it's dedicated to cultivating a culture of peace. And how to express more and more um, forward-looking ideas that will, will give hope to other countries, to other societies, that there is a peaceful way of solving the conflicts of humanity and not only through war and military confrontation. And this has been recognized when uh, a few years ago uh, Costa Rica received, the people of Costa Rica received the Nobel Peace Prize, which was a way of recognizing uh, one country that decided to live without standing army. Is that a solution for every country? but it has worked for Costa Rica. Uh, we need to uh, be hopeful always on demonstrating that it is possible to have enlightened policies in the, for example, in the uh, climate crisis that affects uh, our world today. Uh, number three, rights and responsibilities for the different groups in the society, for the entrepreneurs uh, and also for the workers. We do not understand that anyone can have a right without the corresponding responsibilities. And this is transmitted to the educational system. So a bill of rights, yes, but a bill of responsibilities for every citizen also. One of the uh, aspects of Costa Rica and development is uh, the cooperative moving, the co-ops, that extends all through the country and all different activities, economic activities. At least 10% of Costa Ricans are members, active members of cooperatives that are working. All of this is an effort to put the individual, the person, at the center of all the efforts of society to improve uh, quality of life. The principle that when it rains all should get wet 
of course with differences the entrepreneur that risks uh, uh, his investment and in his uh, companies will receive more than others but in proportion everyone should get uh, its own part of the pie up to the 1960s Costa Rica had a, a very large uh, rate of population growth 5.5 percent in in civil society not in government there were a number of people that organized themselves to promote the concept of responsible parenthood each family should decide how many children should they have and how to space them today it is a reality and today costa rica has a population rate uh, uh, growth that is comparable to uh, advanced economic societies. In the field of ideas and ideals, there are no small and large countries.